I am concerned about you and the way you are being treated in Egypt. God spoke those words to Moses and those words brought undoubtedly great comfort to Moses at the time. He was struggling with the people and God assured him that all would be well. Jesus spoke similar words in the gospel when he said, come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. God the Father who reached out to the Egyptians and Jesus who reached out to the people of his day, they're doing the very same thing for us today. Lives today in many parts of our world are no less burdensome than they were for our ancestors in the faith. The fears, the sorrows, the illnesses, the uncertainty, the anxiety, the depression were relenting then and continue today. Problems did not disappear then. Problems do not disappear today. Jesus did not come to take away pain and suffering, but to fill it with his presence. So it's comforting to know that we are not alone in our struggles, that God is concerned about us and our struggles. The laws that God sets before us serve to free us, offer direction, assurance, community, compassion. It's comforting to hear Jesus tell us that he can refresh souls, ease and lighten our burdens. In every age, God has been our refuge. In every age, God has relied on men and women to make him known. Moses was given that responsibility. Today, we are asked to take up the cross, but not the cross, the symbol that connotes pain and suffering and burdens inflicted upon others, rather the cross, Christ, whose presence consoles and brings comfort, acceptance and forgiveness. In a word, we are being asked to be concerned with the ill treatment of our brothers and sisters across the world and fill them with the presence of Christ found in each one of us and yes, in our families that are praying together.